Hi friends, welcome to BIT, I'm Vijay. Uh, today's topic um, is a bit a weird topic I would say, as um, Apple suggests or believes that uh, how do we change a file extension in iPhone? So uh, iPhone actually doesn't support to change a file extension to anything else than what it has um, originally as it is because it is considered to be not an ethical thing to change the extension of a file because uh, in a way um, you might not be changing the format rather just the name of the file uh, I mean the extension doesn't change to that particular format so uh, that could be one of the reason that um, you know iPhone doesn't or Apple doesn't support uh, the changing of the file extension but whereas in Android uh, gives you that liberty to change the extension so uh, when you have this disparity across different platforms so you might at certain point of time end up getting a file which is in a different uh, extension uh, what may it look like but uh, it is actually not not an extension that it is uh, in there so you need to change the extension to make use of it so today's topic is about changing the um, extension file as in iPhone uh, otherwise um, you know with the stock options uh, as in there in iPhone you will not be able to do that uh, I tried searching the info on YouTube as well or uh, in some other um, you know sources but I couldn't find a, a, a correct info or let's say eligible info in order to uh, you know change the extension of a file as such so today I found a, 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 a trick uh, which I'm going to share um, so hope you would you know uh, like it um, so so let's begin So now as you know that there are different types of file extensions um, as you can see like uh, you have audio or uh, graphic or even video kind of files. So changing a file extension uh, would mean that uh, you know that if it is of a certain format for sure uh, otherwise uh, for example you would have seen a, a docx file which you can convert to a pdf file which makes sense right from MS Word to a pdf. Uh, in, in MS Word actually. So you have an option to change a docx file to a PDF. So that makes sense. So, uh, But if you just try to change a, a text file to a certain graphics or a PDF file, you know, it won't change. So let's see um, how do we do this. Um, you know, you come to a files app, uh, you, you know, you can open it from my phone and then um, uh, as you can see in this particular folder called rec uh, work, I have two files. Uh, one file is of uh, pure text so now if I click on it so I will see a pure text but at the same time file 2 is not a text file in fact it's uh, uh, as I know that it's a uh, it's a video file but it is renamed as some file 2.txt so it won't open uh, you can see um, the info uh, of the file it says uh, a kind of text as far as file 1 is concerned uh, which is a genuine text of course but at the same time uh, if you see for the file to uh, you know the info you will see that it is also mentioned as a kind of a text so basically you're trying to fool the iPhone by, by just changing the extension but, or you know iPhone doesn't recognize this internally uh, or let's say physically as uh, you know uh, as a text file you know. So you cannot open it. So now, uh, how do we change it? <coughs> For which, uh, let's go to the app store. You can search for an app uh, which we need here is libterm, which is a terminal emulator. Uh, if you're from an IT background, so you would definitely know what's a term terminal emulator. And uh, if you open it. Uh, as you can see, um, you will come to a, a console where it defaults to a certain 
directory so you can actually check whether which directory it is by using a, a command called pwd which is print working directory you can see it's in downloads folder so on the top there is a folder icon so from where you can go to a different folder so now i've typed an ls command which just nothing but it lists the total number of files in that folder as you can see there are so many files which uh, you know displays with the extension otherwise uh, if when you go to that folder from the files app you will not be able to see the extensions right so now so now let's go to our folder called rec work uh, by just clicking on that folder uh, icon and then i scroll down and then go to the there it is rec work um now let's clear the screen uh, just to clear the clutter now i'll list out by using an ls command uh, and I, I can see that uh, as you know file one and file two both the files have been listed here uh, so now I'll, I'll change the file two dot txt to file two dot mp4 as i know that it is a video file so which is of an mp4 format so i would uh, use a command called move which is mv space fi file 2.txt space file 2.mp4 means uh, source to destination name then then, then i if i list it uh, as you can see that earlier it was a file 2.txt now it is file 2.mp4 so now let's get to the files up again go to that folder now I still see file 2 as it is showing, but I know that it is an MP4 file now. If I click on it, as you can see, now it's okay. So that's pretty much to it that you can change the file extensions easily. It's just that you need the help of Lipton, as what I have to say. Why? Because um, otherwise you will never get an access to the root of the file. Right? So in fact, this file now I can share it or I can save it to the uh, photos, the gallery. So I can use save video, and then if I go to the gallery from here to photos uh, now i can see yeah, we'll go to the album now i can see that uh, the video is, is copied here so that's it uh, folks um, so let me know your comments um,